Hi and welcome to this evening's Calm Your Mind session with me, your host, clinical hypnotherapist and psychotherapist, Tanya Taylor. So just getting yourself into a comfortable position now. And while you're getting comfortable, I'd like you to pay attention to your breath for me. Not changing the breath, just noticing the breath in, the breath out. And in a moment, I'm going to mention each body part in turn. As I do, I'd like you to focus your attention on that body part, inhaling and exhaling with each body part I mention in turn. So let's begin with all the muscles in the scalp and the forehead. Moving down through the muscles around the eyes, the eyebrows, Inhaling and exhaling. Now the cheeks. Unclenching the teeth. Relaxing your tongue. Inhale and exhale. Moving down through the neck and the shoulders. Down through the arms, into the hands as you inhale and exhale. The chest now and the tummy muscles. Inhaling as you think about all the muscles either side of the spine and exhaling as you release tension from all of them. Moving down through the pelvis. Thinking about the thigh muscles now. Inhale and exhale. Moving down through your shins and your calves now. Your feet and the tips of your toes. Now thinking about your whole body as you inhale and releasing any lingering tension as you exhale. Using your imagination now, that part of your mind that can create an image based on the words you can hear me saying to you. For example, if I ask you to imagine your own front door, you will find yourself bringing up the image of your own front door, thinking perhaps about the colour, any textures, whether it has windows, coloured glass, frosted glass, or no glass at all. Does it have a letterbox? Does the lock appear to be in its usual spot? Or a different one? Is it a usual lock or an unusual lock? Our minds are such powerful things. And we really can utilize them for our own benefit. Leaving your door behind in your imagination now. I'd like you to imagine something else for me. I'd like you to imagine an outdoor swimming pool. A beautiful day. 
the rays of the sun touching your skin. A gentle, cooling breeze. Feeling lazy, easy and comfortable. What is around the pool? Perhaps plants or trees. Maybe strong, picturesque mountains. And you will lay down on an inflatable sun lounger that is just floating on the pool's surface. You are floating on the pool's surface. The bed is gently swaying back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Your breathing is becoming slower, steadier. You are relaxed. You are calm. You are at ease, feeling lazy and comfortable as the lounger sways gently back and forth and your mind and body sway gently back and forth too. The rays of the sun heating your skin, the cooling breeze gently keeping you at the right temperature, a cooling drink by your side, eyes closed now as you continue to sway ever so gently back and forth in the most soothing of rhythms. A rhythm not dissimilar to being carried in the womb. A rhythm not dissimilar to being gently rocked back and forth as a young child. A rhythm that is soothing, calming, and a rhythm that lulls you into a state of truly deep relaxation as you feel yourself falling deeper and deeper into a place of pure relaxation a place where you can just let go And you notice now that you have freed yourself of tension, of stress, of overwhelm. And what's happening now is that you are noticing other feelings from deep within, being able to float up to the surface. Now you have let go of feeling so overwhelmed, you have made room for feeling more confident. Imagine that version of you who feels more confident. That version of you who has confidence ignited from deep within, knowing that you can trust yourself and the decisions you make because this is who you are. What might this version of you do 
now that confidence is showing up more in your life. Spend a few moments now examining all the possibilities. Perhaps you find yourself moving around differently or making more plans. Perhaps you notice your facial expressions changing or your relationships with other people you know changing too. What is the most favourite thing you notice about yourself as you bloom and blossom with confidence? You have let go of overwhelm and made room for a more confident version of you to surface. Now you have also let go of unnecessary stress and letting go of stress leaves you with more time to love yourself and who you are on the inside and the outside. Imagine that version of you who feels more able to carry love for yourself. That version of you who has had a love for yourself when you look in a mirror. That version of you who has compassion for yourself when you make a mistake knowing you can trust yourself and the decisions you make because this is who you are. What might this version of you do now that has self-love and compassion showing up more in your life? Spend a few moments now examining all of the possibilities. Perhaps you find yourself moving around differently or making more plans. Perhaps you notice your facial expressions changing or relationships with people you know changing too. What is the most favourite thing you notice about yourself? as you bloom and blossom with self-love.
you have let go of overwhelm and made room for more confidence. You have released stress and made room for the version of you who loves yourself and has compassion for yourself. You've also let go of tension. This has made room for the version of you who is more resilient. That version of you who has an inner bravery surfacing, being there to give you more courage in all that you do. Consider that version of you now the version of you who is resilient, holds on to an inner bravery that helps give you courage. What might this version of you do now that resilience, bravery and courage is showing up more in your life? Spend a few moments now examining all of the possibilities Perhaps you find yourself moving around differently or making more plans. Perhaps you notice your facial expressions changing or relationships with people you know changing too. What is the most favourite thing you notice about yourself as you bloom and blossom with your resilience, bravery and courage? You have let go of overwhelm and made room for more confidence. You have released stress and made room for the version of you who loves yourself and has compassion for yourself. You have also let go of tension and made room for a more resilient, brave, courageous version of you. Now I'd like you to imagine seeing yourself as you were this morning and stood next to you is the version of you who has let go of overwhelm and exudes more confidence. Stood next to both of you is the version of you who has let go of stress and has made room for self-love and stood next to all three of you is a fourth person. This is the version of you who has let go of tension, is more relaxed and has made room for resilience, bravery and courage. These are all versions of you. You look upon them and admire them. You admire yourself and the fantastic qualities that you possess. And the more you look at these wonderful versions of you, the more wonderful qualities you begin to notice emerging. Patience, forgiveness, positivity, kindness, a list that is endless and therefore full of endless possibilities, endless opportunities. And you watch now as a version of you from this morning 
the version of you who holds confidence, the version of you who has so much love for you, and the version of you that is courageous and resilient. They all come together now as one version of you. And now imagine what would be different about this version of you that has all the qualities you possess right at the surface, there for you to access and use whenever you need them, whenever you want them. Spend a few moments now examining all the possibilities. Perhaps you find yourself moving around differently or making more plans. Perhaps you notice your facial expressions changing or relationships with people you know changing too. What is the most favourite thing you notice about yourself as you bloom and blossom with all your inner strengths that have been there all along? You just forgot to give them space to surface. And whether you wake up now or in the morning, when you wake, you carry within you all these inner strengths that have been there all along, but this time you feel them inside of you. This time you notice when you look in the mirror that this version of you who uses all of your inner strengths is reflected back and you make the necessary changes in your life to ensure that these inner strengths are never forgotten again. You are now able to be that version of you you wish to be and you do it really well and every day it becomes easier and easier to be you to keep hold of confidence, love and compassion for yourself, resilience, bravery and courage.